begin to pray. Are there people of prayer in this city? Pray from the depth of your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that fire fall. Give me understanding, Lord, that you will honor my waiting, my praising, my crying, my singing. You've been led through a session of very strong prophetic worship. Preachers, pray. The youth, pray. Wonderful things happen when we seek him at night. Pray for the sake of your destiny. Pray for the sake of your ministry. There are many of you here, the call of God is upon your life. i like you to pray. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted from the depth of your heart. This is part of the meeting. Let it fall on my destiny. Open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to this instruction. Listen very carefully. You are going to shout hallelujah seven times. Listen carefully. I will teach for a while, but I want you to shout hallelujah seven times. I will lead you. At the seventh time as you shout, not everybody, but there are a few people here. The kind of fire you have seen in your dreams, the visions you have seen, at that help them. Just those under the anointing, there's no place to bring them out, but please just be your brother's keeper. Listen very carefully. There are angels here seven loud hallelujah at the seventh time parako shadiba lakatosia there are altars that must go down there are gates that have been closed over families for decades people have tried to open it and it seems not to open that shout is a shout that commands ancient gates to be lifted are you ready or weary Number one. Two. Three. Four. Hey, bakata, bakatoshka, tekata, barakata. Skete leke parakatos kati gata bakata. Five. The anointing that needs to come upon your destiny. That what your father could not do. What your mother could not do. The enchantments that are said nobody will rise from your family. Are you ready for the sixth shout? Six. Now get ready. This is the last shout. This is not an ordinary shout. It's a shout that brings the anointing and the glory to your life. Listen, the fire of God is going to fall upon many, many, many as you shout. There are apostles and there are prophets. There are evangelists and there are pastors. There are prophetic worshippers. The mantle of your call, the mantle of your grace. Are you ready now? Seven. Take that grace. Take the apakatosh kata. Take that grace. Take that anointing. Let it fall upon you. All over this stadium. Let that unction fall. In the name of Jesus. Set you on fire. Prophetic fire. Apostolic fire. Prayer fire. Evangelistic fire.
in the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. I want you to shout a loud amen. Every door that has refused to open over your destiny. I'm standing by the apostolic and the prophetic and I prophesy, lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates, be lifted ancient doors in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I move you forward, move into your destiny, move into prophecy, move into your destiny, move into prophecy in the name of Jesus. Hear me, every force that has vowed that you will not rise, I come by this anointing tonight, may the ground open and swallow them. May the, ground, may the ground open and swallow them. That which has covered your glory, covered your face, in the name of Jesus, I tear that veil from your face. Please believe in what is happening. We're in a serious prophetic atmosphere. Whatever has tied your feet so that the only thing going forward is your age. Nothing else is going forward. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I prophesy to you, go forward now. Go for or worry. Go forward now. Go forward now. Nike the chains falling. Hey. Nike the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. Just help all that, those under the anointing. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ for every man for every woman for every preacher for everyone here represented I decree and declare 
that everything that will not let you go must go for you now in the name of Jesus now here's what will happen I may just I just want to give a charge it's a prophetic worship and we have been standing maybe just for 10 15 minutes I want you to please pay attention to what I want to share and then afterwards I want to pray and release a grace upon your life for many of you you have seen this day in your dreams you've seen it in visions and you've been wondering how will it happen I announce to you that tonight is that night in the name of Jesus please be silent everyone I'm seeing the number 23 they will begin to shout by the anointing there is a strong anointing coming on them if someone shouts like that close to you you just help them 23 I'm stretching my hands I'm seeing fire across the concrete don't worry 23 right now I stretch my hands 23 from the front to the back the left to the right is an anointing that is separating you by wisdom oh God heaven's gate open now with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing by wisdom oh God heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the season creating day and night turning darkness into light hallelujah I'm seeing the number 11 and the Lord is saying a mantle is coming upon you. You are the one anointed to open the gates of your family. Right now as I'm praying, 11 people, Paras Kadina Katabariata, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, that unction is resting upon you now. Eleven people, may that grace, that pioneering grace that will open a door that has not been opened, may it come upon you in the name of Jesus. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God, Yahweh. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are, you are the covenant keeping God. You Now listen very carefully to what I want to tell you. Just a few minutes and we'll pray. The move of God that is coming to this city, the move of God and that revival fire is not only a worry, it's the entire southeast. But it's important for you to understand that there are three kinds of people there are three categories of people you want to be part of this move listen carefully there are three groups of people the spiritual formation the strategy for this revival is threefold
now please hear me i don't know how you do this but please be your brother's keeper don't let anyone injure themselves there are people who will start running now as i'm speaking by the spirit is the shackles of delay that is breaking please hold them so they don't injure themselves right now i'm declaring by the spirit the power of god that came upon elijah that grace for speed you will find out that they will want to start running just hold them where they are so they don't injure themselves i release that grace right now no more delay and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jisrael please hold them whether you are an usher or not you just help them there is something the holy ghost is doing over their life yokes of delay yokes of delay minutes i want to pray a prayer that will change your life now i am serving a god of miracles i know yes i know I am serving the God of miracles. I know. Sing it two more times. Yes, I know. Hallelujah. I'm serving the Lord of miracles. I know. I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the Lord of miracles. I know. Yes, One more time. I know. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to do three things in one. I want to pray for the sick right now. We cannot end this glorious meeting without praying for the sick and number two i'm going to be praying that every force and every power holding on to your destiny that he must let you go and then number three is the final impartation the grace that has been looking for your head my assignment is to connect that mantle to your head are you ready to pray in one minute i'd like you to pray god visit me one more time please quickly pray don't be distracted Visit me one more time. Cry to the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Now, if you are sick in your body, if there is any part of your body that is ailing you or you are standing in for a loved one who is sick, place your hand right now wherever you are trusting god for a miracle please do it quickly your eyes place it on your eyes if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest we have to rebuke the complete gospel hear me the complete gospel demands that when jesus is preached an opportunity must be given for his power to heal and to save I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you, I bring. Keep your hands there. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and leave. Look and leave. My brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look. Keep your hands there. I want to pray for you right now. Let there be silence everywhere. I want to pray. Now hear me. I'm going to pray and declare that the healing anointing will begin to touch people right where you are. Don't force anyone, whether you're on a wheelchair, whether you're on crutches, whether you are blind, you're deaf, whether there's any kind of pain right where you are, I want to pray for you. Now hear me. A lady is going to shout right now, loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. When that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. 
sometimes i don't know why the holy spirit does this but it's, it's mysterious how he works a strong anointing is coming on a lady right now a loud shout to the hearing of everybody now we're ready to pray When I say in Jesus' name, I want you to thunder a loud amen. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity here hear the word of the lord by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare let god's people go free now every power of witchcraft every power connected to ancestry connected to foundations and bloodline i decree and declare by the help them by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there is any altar holding on to your destiny and it will not let you go I set it on fire now help them I set it on fire now I release them right now release their destinies right now every altar territorial altars please help them in the name of Jesus Parakata katoshke tegete, embreketa, mabrakata, marine spirits, witches and wizards, altars, covenants. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Release God's people now. And right now, I decree and declare for all those who are sick in your body, I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus. Be healed now. Be healed now. Blind eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Deaf ears be open in the name of Jesus. Those on crutches having problems with their limbs, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Every growth around your body, lumps in the breast, and all kinds of growths, I command it to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every negative genotype we change it now in the name of Jesus Christ everyone barren Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I announce the arrival of your supernatural children. Every other sickness, whether mentioned or not, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I decree and declare, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Healed right now. Hallelujah. Now, I want to speak over your life. Look up, please. I know that the prophetic ministry has been so abused. Many people do not even know the power of the prophetic again. But just because a ministry may have been abused by carelessness and imbalance does not mean it is not potent. You will need the prophetic in your life to rise. I want to speak over your life. And while we are doing that, all the the Choma Jesus team, may I request that you come quickly. I want to also pray, you coordinate them, whoever, all of the people, so that I will just speak over your life. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and bones, a sound. Son of man, he said, can these bones live again? Son of man, can this job live again? Can this family live again? Can this destiny live again? Can this shame and reproach be rolled away? He said, prophesy. I stand by the God who called me. And I speak over everyone here. 
under the sound of my voice every door that has refused to open over your destiny i prophesy to you a father may that door be open now have you heard of this proverb that in one day a nation is born but he said as soon as zion travails let me speak over your life in the name of jesus christ everything that god has showed you should happen this year 2022 and it has not yet happened i command it to begin to happen now hear me these hands that are lifted if there is anything tiny down that your hand is a parakatosh kaniga barakatoziata your hand is a symbol of your productivity help them please and anything that has tied your hand i stand here or oh, where you hear me i speak by the mantle of god i lose you right now 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 hear me if there is any family here represented that is still worshiping idols still bowing down to deities i stand by the god of heaven and i declare those powers die now he said as for me and my house we will serve the lord listen carefully i want to rebuke the spirit of death death is a spirit there are families with the patterns of untimely death just when you are about to enjoy the faithfulness of god death comes there are some of you every two two years somebody must die every six six months these are demonic patterns don't wait till it gets to your turn help that lady i stand by the god of heaven every demonic pattern especially death over anyone's family here I speak by the God of heaven. I command that pattern. Help, help them. Oh my God. Please help them. I command that pattern broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Now, please listen carefully. There are people. The spirit that operates in their house. Is such that they have to eat by being slaves to others for you to rise and to be established it is what happened to Jacob in the house of Laban Jacob said leave me let me establish myself but Laban went and consulted with diviners and they said no we must keep him here I want to release such families brilliant people no job graduates no rising intelligent people no open doors i stand by the god of heaven that cause that is lying on your life and your destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant i break it now i break it now i break it now i break it now, break it now. hear me two more prayers and we're done i want you to listen to me very carefully Listen to me very carefully. The Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work. Do you know there are people that start things and never finish? There are some of you, there are houses that have been built since before you were born. Till today it's not completed. Anybody that tries to rise, a spirit brings them down. God is the author and finisher. I want that none of these things can take you. Are we together? We are going to pray. Thank God it's raining. He will pray. He will pray. There's boss to carry you. But you will pray. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Please give me volume. Much less love and endless work. Nothing in this world can 
satisfied. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. One more time, listen. What is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Hey, your presence is heaven to me. Sing it from the depth of your heart and with understanding. Your presence is heaven. prayer point. Lord, I'm tired of exalting shadows in my life. Let everything be dethroned tonight and Jesus alone lifted to the zenith, the pinnacle of my life. Lift your voice and pray. I'm tired of exalting certificates above Jesus. Tired of exalting my bank account above Jesus. I'm tired of exalting anointing above Jesus. I'm tired of exalting visions above Jesus. Tired of exalting gifts and dreams and prophecies above Jesus. Tired of exalting ministry above Jesus. Marriage above Jesus. Business above Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Don't look around. Pray. Be lifted high, be lifted high. Exalted 
above the things of this world. Let me show you how to truly be great. When you come up hither, Jesus also comes up hither in your life. Higher, higher than anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second prayer point is a very personal prayer point. Lord, what attachment do I have to anything in this world above you? What attachment? There is nothing wrong with having things. But when these things have you, they are about to destroy you. Lord, detach me. Detach me from any other thing that is not you. Lift your voice and pray. Pray seriously. Detach me. Detach me from the obsession for money. Detach me from the obsession for fame. Detach me from the obsession for things. Detach me, oh God. Let my true value be Jesus. Please pray. Gentlemen, pray. Gentlemen, pray. Gentlemen, pray. Detach me from the pressure of wanting respect on account of what I have acquired, on account of my certificates. They are not useless, but they are nothing, nothing to be compared. Jesus Christ. Detach me, oh God. Detach me, oh God. Is someone praying? Use tonight, use this opportunity God has given. Detach yourself. And with it will go the high blood pressure. And with it will go the depression. And with it will go the suicidal thoughts. I detach myself. The pressure to have things so as to gain respect. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Praise the Lord. Now listen everybody. We're praying. There are many of us here. We come from families. Please listen. And we come from territories. Where the prevalent mindset. Is earn your respect. By the things you show. Are we together? Now there's nothing wrong with our families and our region. But I'm just saying that many of us by default are under pressure. They look at you as a lady and say, the day you bring the man you will marry, then you will earn our respect. The day you bring us a child, you will earn our respect. The day, gentlemen, you bring us an employment letter from a reputable firm. So there's pressure everywhere. What are you doing? Well, I'm trusting God. I'm teaching in a small place. That's it. You are, you are a shame to this family you hear. You are a reproach to this family. Look at your younger ones, they say. Look at this and that. You are going to pray. Father, the stress. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I want you to dethrone those things and say my life and my work will never be built on the expectations of men. I cancel it right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. I know you've not been able to take in, but refuse to allow yourself what come from being able to be pregnant. Pregnant or not, Jesus exalted in your life is the greatest asset you have. Living in a rented apartment or not, Jesus, in your life, Christ glorified in and through you is your greatest testimony. Apostle, I've never healed the sick. I also want to walk miracles. And you are fasting 
and killing yourself for the wrong reason. My greatest testimony is Jesus glorified. My greatest testimony is Jesus exalted in my life. My greatest testimony is Jesus exalted in my life. My greatest testimony is that God dwells in me. The Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. We're going to round up shortly, but listen to me. There is no telling the degree of pressure. Some of us are sitting on pressure every day. Your father says at your age, I was already a millionaire. You are now 35. Shame on you. You can't even send money back home. And so all you are seeking for in God is his hand to prosper you so that you will buy a car and rush back home and say, finally, you want a car, here it is. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Jesus is more than Truly, if all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Jesus is more than Prophesy gold. one more time. If all I have is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Listen to me. When you see me teach like this, it is because the Spirit of God is ministering to us. Brothers, hear me. By God's grace, we will continue to teach you the principles that will empower you and make you great. But don't get into... That's why many young boys today are becoming criminals. Do you know why? Because they have told them you must bring... God gives people speed, I agree. But remember my teaching, when your soul dies for you to prosper, it's not true prosperity. Many young men right now are becoming criminals. And you know why? Because of pressure. And please let me encourage us, those of us who are parents here and listening, let's be careful as we put pressure on our children. Go and bring a man for me, to, a man that you will marry. Go and bring a woman that you will marry. Give us a child. We are waiting. Bring a car. We are tired. Let's be careful. It takes time for anything valuable to emerge. Allow people to go through the law of process until God places his hand upon their lives. Every one of us started from somewhere. If you saw some of us 15 years ago, there will be nothing in us that is desirable. But God was in the making. And we were given the opportunity to grow. We must give others opportunity to grow. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody put pressure on you and say, bring this. Some of you at home right now, you don't even have gari and sugar and you're embarrassed. Because when they tell you, confess, the, I am a child of God, I am a this and that, you are ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of, my brother and my sister. Every one of us, there were times, we've seen, you, you hear me share my story here. I'm not ashamed of yesterday because yesterday was the ladder that brought me to my today. You are climbing your ladder, climb it with honor. When someone comes to your house and all you have is Gary, don't go and borrow minerals from any shop. Tell the person, as you know, as Apostle has been teaching, I'm on my way climbing the ladder. Sincerely, I don't have much physically. A wise person will say, I understand. We listen to the message together. A foolish person will say, you are a shame. Leave him to carry his ignorance out of your life. Are we together? I want to drum it. It is ugly to see men attached to things. The secret to getting things is to be attached to God. 
the more you are detached to things they will follow you you will drive them they will refuse to go back there is nothing in my life today i stand by the truth of heaven under god there is nothing in my life today i cannot give there is nothing that is too special in my life that cannot leave no when anything enters my life there is an orientation center before it finally arrives is given an orientation you are a temporary asset at any point the master calls you are out and you are going the only thing that i will die protecting is christ in me who is the hope of glory if i fall down here my brothers and sisters and i stop breathing i know what you will do you will pray for me for a few minutes trying to get me back to life and then if it does not work the doctors will come together and you will rush me to shika and if they put a stethoscope and say ah this guy has died how can our apostle die <laughs> while you are talking i'm watching you i'm saying oh dear you better listen to my messages go back and get koinonia i'm on my way i'm already going happy you pray for me to come back i see those chariots you are joking <laughs> I mean, Apostle, don't talk like this. What if you die? Don't be foolish. Don't you know death also listens? Freedom came in my life when I stopped holding things. Freedom came in my life when everything minus Jesus in my life is a stranger. Everything in my life is a visitor. No visitor sleeps in your house. No matter how late he must look for, bike and go away. The only occupant, not even a tenant, is Jesus. He's given me peace. I'm telling you sincerely. I live a very peaceful life. The higher he lifts me, the more confident I am. If you are confident because an alert entered your account, something will happen when the alert is no more there. This is what God is working in you to. I know it looks like time is going, but pay attention. Could this be why you are praying and blessings are never coming? Because the affinity you have for those things is a risk for God to trust you with it. There are preachers who want anointing so bad, they will remove Jesus to create space for the anointing. Jesus, come out, let me have some more space for oil. Billy Graham never performed any known miracle, as we know. I don't believe that is the optimal for a preacher. We should press to every dimension available. But one thing we know is that Billy Graham changed lives. His gospel molded civilization. Captains of industry listened to him. Kings listened to him. That is true wealth. Come up hither. And the first thing he saw was the throne room. Come up hither. And the first thing he saw was the throne room. When he was down, he saw different things. But now when he rose higher, his attention was called to the worship of only one person. The rain is almost done. We'll pray one more prayer. And then I'll take the altar call. And then we'll be ready to dismiss ourselves when the rain is done. But please hear me. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I thought it was a joke. And I said, Lord, you mean that I become a mirror? It's easy for me. It's easier to reflect Jesus in our world today than to reflect yourself. The world will always show you something wrong. So reflect Jesus and be at peace. If you reflect yourself, they will say you didn't bab well this week. Your head is too big next week. Ah, you reduce it. It is now too small. You would have left it the other way. 
reflect Jesus and enter your Sabbath. Hide behind the cross and let men know if he prospers me, he only prospered so that his name will be lifted. If he anoints me, he only brought the anointing so that his name will be lifted. Listen, please don't trivialize this night's teaching. I'm, I'm pointing to you the origin of high blood pressure. BP and all of these things come from this revelation. I need to prove a point. How will they know I'm not an anyhow person until I show? So let me get a job and show. My life and all that consists in this life has been poured like a drink offering. I've told the Lord, do whatever you want to do with me. Sincerely, it's a prayer. I have lost the pain and the psychological pressure that comes trying to live life my own way. I found peace when I lost the consciousness of trying to prove a point. I found the anointing when I stopped thinking about miracles and breakthrough. When I started thinking about Jesus and the people he sent me to, then the anointing came. For as long as I thought about my reputation, let people know that you called me. Very sincere, but it never brought grace. But I said, Lord, let them see you through my life. Give me an opportunity to be a blessing within the lifetime you have given me. Let me tell you this. If Christ tarries and my work on earth is done, I don't want it to be written in my grave. Oh, great man. This, all that is nonsense. He changed lives. Ah, what a testimony. He was truly a lover of God. And he, through his life, nations were restored to Jesus. If you can write that, buy a coffin of 2,000 and put my body inside. Put it even inside pajamas. That's the closest thing to sleep. Use the suit money and give a man of God who is still alive. Don't waste money by mundane nonsense. I have learned the value of living. The value of living is living for Jesus. When you live for Jesus, you have cheated life. That in life and in death, you have won. Hmm. You will live a happy life, depression free. Depression free. You learn that it is about you, but not all about you. Can I pray for you? take it down. I want to pray for you. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with our lives. I have searched for you and I have found you. I have found you, you've won my heart, and I will lift my voice to you in worship, and I will worship with all my heart. If you will search for him, you will find him truly. You will find him with all your heart. That's the call tonight. If you will search for him, you will find him. You will find him with all your heart. Father, I cry to you, O God of heaven. On behalf of your precious people I love them with all my heart and you know it 
I desire that they rise to dimensions of rest and I'm showing them one of the ways tonight that the way to rest is to live for Jesus the understanding that you are the definition of greatness in a man and that nothing nothing can define greatness in any man higher than you by earthly standards money achievements can seem to bring certain levels of influence and they are important but teach us tonight the all-surpassing excellency of Jesus in our hearts the hope of glory, the crown, the zenith, the definition of greatness in this kingdom is Christ enthroned in a life. Teach us that the definition of greatness in this kingdom is not the acquisition of things, but Christ enthroned and exalted in a life. Help us, O oh God, to value your presence more than money. To value your presence more than gold. To value your presence more than the mundane things of this world. And Lord, in placing that value on you, may we lay up gold as dust. In the name of Jesus Christ. I detach you from any connection and any affinity you have to things. Especially money. I declare that by this service... Let there be a cutting away in the name of Jesus. The obsession that you have to derive respect based on the things around you. I pray that God will redefine value to you. I pray for grace to survive the pressure that comes from society to conform to a mold so as to be respected that you will teach all around you that true value is Jesus and Christ enthroned in a life in the name of Jesus Christ listen and I pray for you that whilst you focus on exalting Jesus may everything that you need even the things you did not dream will come to your life at this level may my God bring them to your life in the name of Jesus Christ nothing in this life will ever possess you in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray sincerely sincerely please walk on us walk on us let this detachment continue even throughout this weekend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I want to prophesy the grace for speed. Je veux prophétiser la grâce de l'accélération. Walking in abundance, moving in the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am walking in abundance moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost I am two more times I'll sing it for you you are walking in abundance moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost hear me please listen don't be distracted Cameroon listen you see, Vous voyez? destiny La is measured in time. Est dans le temps. You can lose money tu peux perdre de and gain it back. Et en you can lose men tu peux perdre des hommes and find more men. Et en trouver davantage. But when you lose time, Mais quand tu perds le temps, a part of your destiny has gone. Une partie de ta destinée en est allée. There are two systems of advantage in the realm of the spirit Il y a deux systèmes en esprit that were designed by the intelligence of God to manage this kind of constraint. Conçu par de Dieu pour gérer ce genre de Number one Premièrement, is called restoration. La restauration. Number two Deuxièmement, is called speed. La Every time 
Alléluia. Alléluia. There are three of these gentlemen standing. This three of you. I just saw light on you. There's an, an anointing coming on three of you. I know you are walking, but I have to pray. It's a mighty grace that is coming on this gentleman. I release that grace upon you right now. I release that grace upon you right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, three of these gentlemen who are standing, that fire is coming upon you, even though you are walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Écoutez. Restoration. La restauration is when time passes. C'est lorsque le temps passe. And the events that should be captured in that time was et, not represented. Et les événements qui auraient dû être enregistrés dans ce temps ne se sont pas manifestés. Do you know how God restores? Est-ce que vous savez comment Dieu restaure? Because he does not dwell in time. Parce qu'il ne demeure pas dans le temps. He has the advantage of going behind and going forward in time. Il a l'avantage d'aller en arrière et en avant du temps. So God can reach into your yesterday. Donc Dieu peut aller dans ton passé. And push everything that should have happened into to your tomorrow that's how God restores but when it has to do with speed God gives you an advantage over time so that he can take 10 years and put it in one year the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. La Bible déclare que la main de l'Éternel descendit. And that Elijah ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. Et il courut et dépassa le char d'Akab. Please hear me. Écoute-moi. Some of you got born again very late. Certains d'entre vous sont nés de nouveau très tard. Some of you discovered the call of God upon your life very late. Certains d'entre vous ont découvert l'appel de Dieu sur leur vie très en retard. Some of you kept laughing at church for a long time till God found you. And even though you are saved, the truth is that time has gone. Some of you probably lived wayward and irresponsible lives for a major part of the active point of your life. Now you are 35, you are 40, 45, 55. Maintenant tu as 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 ans. And what you should have achieved. Et ce que tu aurais dû accomplir. As far as your destiny and the kingdom is concerned has not been achieved. En ce qui concerne ta destinée et le royaume, ces choses n'ont pas été accomplies. To those people. À ces personnes. The restorer. Le restaurateur. Is about to restore. Est sur le point de restaurer. And then there are others. Et il y a d'autres. Because of the delay of your grandfather, à cause du de ton the delay of your father, le de ton père, the delay of your siblings, le de tes frères, even if you walk with time, même si tu avec le temps, their delay will still affect you. Le va what you need is not progress. Ce dont tu as besoin, ce pas le progress. What you need is speed. Ce dont tu as besoin, la Are you learning? Est-ce que vous apprenez? God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. He's won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Listen. My restorer has won my battle for me. My Redeemer has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. He's won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Hear me. Every power that kept you down. I'm about to pray for you now. Mali Shede Keparakatosiata. Cameroon, I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Every altar, every enchantment of witchcraft that has tied your life and your destiny, as you shout that name, the same way the walls of Jericho fell down, 
every altar speaking against you must give way tonight are you ready to shout Cameroon one two three shout Jesus I command altars be broken be broken be broken yokes be broken every enchantment every divination every curse I call upon the God of Joshua the one who rides upon the wings of the wind be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now ancestral curses be broken by the blood of the eternal covenant enchantments the ill speakings of men be delivered now and if our God is for us then what could ever stop us and if our God is with us and if our God is for us and if our God is with us now hear me I just have two more assignments and we're done tonight you will marvel and wonder at what happens to your life respectfully speaking let me encourage you dear men and women of God I stand by the privilege of God's grace to tell you your ministry will shift in a way that will surprise you hear me when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me le Seigneur Jésus -Christ est apparu, in that vision, dans cette vision he stretched his hands towards me il a tendu la main vers moi, and light et la lumière, at its brilliance à sa plus grande brilliance. imagine carrying this light Imaginez porter cette lumière, and putting it inside an insect et la mettre dans un insect that is the kind of thing that happened to me ce genre de qui you've heard my testimony many times Vous avez mon how I did not die is a mystery je ne suis pas mort est un please listen Écoutez, vous plaît. and then in one other encounter that I had with the Lord Et dans une autre que eu avec le Seigneur, hear me -moi. he said to every nation and every region I send you to Il dit, dans les et les nations dans je there must be someone in that meeting Il doit avoir à cette that the light that came from me to you Sur qui la qui est venue de moi vers will toi also be transferred to those people sera I'm about to pray a very special prayer. Je suis sur le point de faire une prière très spéciale. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens now hear from the earth. Oh, speak from your throne my ears will hear. My altar is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Oh God, let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 
From your altar, touch my blood. Let the fire from your altar touch my. There is a grace for intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more than the realm of power. This is more than the realm of miracles. This is more than the realm of revelation and Greeks and Hebrew. I want to release that grace upon someone. The mysteries of the secret place. That is the place of grace and glory. As I raise that song one more time. The Holy Ghost is going to begin to mantle people. He's calling you into a deeper experience in the spirit. It's a chant in the spirit. I'm not only singing. I'm not only singing. I'm invoking something upon your spirit, man. Oh, speak from the heavens. And the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne. My heart will hear. My altar is calling you. Oh, God. My altar is calling you. Oh, God. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Cameroon. Let the fire from his altar touch your body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Everyone who is sick in body. I decree and declare right now by the power that raised Christ that spirit of infirmity I curse you right now I curse you right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus hallelujah with you before I speak over everyone and we're done please wherever you are we have two minutes I will count one to five I'd like you to honorably leave your seat and just come and stand in front of the stage here and I want to pray with you wherever you are run like there's fire on the mountain don't come looking at me come to Jesus Christ one I'm yours I'm yours I'm, I'm yours, yours forever I'm, I'm yours, I'm yours. yours. Cry before your I'm maker yours. while you stand here. Have mercy upon me, oh God. For the sake of my I'm children, yours. let me not leave I'm a legacy yours. that destroys my children. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, is yours, is yours. yours. Forever. Is yours, is yours. you ask of me whatever you ask of me I surrender oh there are men who want to surrender to Jesus you are not the only head of your house Christ must be the head of you to be an effective head Lord I have tried I have tried I'm seeing a repetition of what I complain about for my father my children keep complaining about me I know something is wrong Take responsibility in this conference. Are you praying? Everyone, please let's join them as we pray. Just spend two, three minutes alone with God. 
alone with God. We are not praying as a crowd. Every man before his maker. Lord, search my life. The way I am living, transiting through these stages of my life. The morning stage, the afternoon stage, the evening stage. Did I maximize my morning stage effectively? Did I maximize my afternoon stage effectively? Am I maximizing my evening stage? Do I have a legacy that I can give generations to come? Please pray. Let's cry before the Lord, our maker. One, two minutes and we're done. We're making commitments before the Lord. Four square. You are man of excellence. At the end of your life, there are three things that matter. Your relationship with Jesus. Your relationship with your family. And the efficiency of your fulfilling destiny. From what God is doing, close your eyes until there was destruction. There's nobody to help me in school. No. No. If only you listen to the person that God used to say go to this church, you would have found somebody who would have sponsored you. It is your refusal because you never believe that there are people kind enough to sponsor you without strings attached. And your imbalance did not allow you to tap into that dimension. Tonight I want us to start with a prayer of repentance. Lord forgive me for trivializing your other dimensions scattered across the body thank you for what you have shown me as a man of god lord forgive me for insulting business people forgive me for calling prosperous people wasters of your time lord i forgive me for calling prayer warriors hungry noisemakers forgive me for insulting deliverance forgive me for insulting the prophetic i ask for mercy for insulting people who transform the mind in the place of prayer forgive me for thinking those who are the the personal development experts are useless to your agenda forgive my ignorance that has come through imbalance this imbalance has cheated me and my life has lost the flavor that should be go ahead and pray the reason why I am not blessing all things is because imbalance has pegged a dimension of God from my life. If I opened up myself to the healing ministry, I would have carried that healing anointing. My church would have been a church that experiences healing. I rejected the prophetic and now confusion is destroying my life. Lord, I ask for mercy. I've exaggerated the prophetic and I've left the word of God. Now I've gotten into witchcraft and error. I've become a slave to prophets. Have mercy on me. And let me return back to the word. I've been so obsessed with power. And signs and wonders. That there is no place for spiritual growth. Being grounded and established in the word of God. All I look for now is power. Lord have mercy. Take away that imbalance from my life outside make sure you are praying everywhere pray the error the danger the destructive calamity that imbalance brings lord have ignored the anointing and all i do is just an empty theological bible study without the power without grace so my church my business my family has no genuine anointing Lord, I open up myself to the dimension of authentic power. Lord, I rejected excellence. I thought it was just about prayer and Bible study and healing the sick. I rejected excellence. Now all my TV programs are not accepted because they don't match a level of excellence. I have wasted resources because of lack of excellence. There are certain partners and helpers that excellence would have drawn to my ministry but lack of excellence threw, threw them away I received that dimension pray hallelujah hallelujah 
we are going to pray there is not maybe not in koinonia but i observe the body of christ and i see a widespread of prayerlessness people don't pray again pray for me that's the language of people oh you are going for please pray for us oh. and people don't pray you know why because in a bid to balance this we have insulted every prayer warrior insulted anyone any church that prays oh, these are just noise makers it's all about money and we have found out that there is no sensitivity in the body no discernment people don't pray people don't travel gone are the days when you see people lock themselves somewhere and cry to the god of heaven now people fast and all they just want cheap things oh man of god let me sow a seed just touch my head there are some things it's not just by impartation you must stay and cry upon the horns of the altar till something falls upon you from heaven we are going to pray one prayer and say lord what dimension is needed for my next level open me up unto it oh god lift your voice and pray lord if it is the prophetic that will take me to my next season then i open up my spirit for it if it's the miraculous that will take me to the next dimension if it's a healthy mental transformed mind lord i receive that dimension are we praying please if it's a restoration of fire upon my altar that is the requirement for the next dimension i receive it if it's the knowledge of administration and excellence that i need lord balance my life lord balance my life balance my church balance my business balance my understanding balance my life balance my life take away from me the sarcasm for prophets take away the sarcasm for bible study take away the sarcasm for prayer take away the sarcasm for diligence and lord let me incorporate these dimensions as coming from you hallelujah listen to me we're rounding up there are very anointed people very anointed people who don't know how to speak before great men because to them every gathering of people is a church service and then god sends you now to your destiny helper and you don't know how to speak and they throw you away back to the prison although you can interpret dreams you didn't understand the protocol of seeing pharaoh because you ignored the person who can teach you how to communicate so you find out that the ministries never cross nigeria because no other region can accept you you have not been trained to understand global leadership and you don't know how to synergize spirituality with people's culture you travel to another person's culture they jail you as a man of god because you do not understand the terms there are other ministries that the revelation god is giving them should go to the whole earth but your resentment for wealth has kept you poor and so nobody can hear your voice no tapes no books no nothing because prosperity that will give it wings is not there i can look at a congregation and tell in a split second the dimension they are ignoring because i see prayer warriors who the the oldest person there may be 60 years no car no house no school fees the moment they are driving children from school fees is all is all the prayer warriors children that return back home because they have ignored it now let me tell you something about imbalance your imbalance makes you represent misrepresent god to your territory because they are depending unbelievers are depending on the idea you give them about god make sure you give them a balanced perception don't present to them a god who empowers people and removes prosperity don't present to them a god who all that he does is to give them money and their spiritual lives they are not saved they are not born again they are going to hell but they have money that's a misrepresentation don't present to them a man of god that is anointed anointed and there's no room to teach the word so you have a congregation of members that never grow 
you have occultists in churches and they never never grow they don't understand the principles they destroy their homes half of a church is divorced with people because the teaching ministry there is no teaching priest there is power but there is no wisdom to share the ministry that keeps homes together are we together or you can have a crowd of people who never pray the prayer warrior in that whole church prays only for one hour because that dimension has been ignored we're going to pray one last prayer balance my life balance my life lift your voice and cry balance my life lord i receive leadership lord i receive prayer lord i see i receive wisdom through the word lord i receive favor lord i receive excellence lord i receive the warfare dimension i receive the prophetic i receive the deliverance dimension of the world every provision that the grace of god affords even if it is not working in my life i am open-minded towards the body no criticism and no resentment i repent from criticizing any and every man of god regardless of the limitations i open myself to the multifaceted dimensions of god resident within his ecclesia i receive the dimension that brings speed i receive the dimension that brings establishment i receive the dimension that brings glory i receive the dimension that brings increase i receive are you praying Lord until now I have not seen the need to be filled with the Holy Ghost I thought it was just something for Pentecostals but right now I open my spirit to receive it's a dimension needed in my life in your name we will rise I don't know you reign in your name we will rise I don't know you reign hallelujah let me add one more prayer Lord put a dimension of love for the body in me love love when there is no love criticism will remain when there is no love sarcasm and resentment will remain open your mouth and cry love for the body love for every church love for every man of god regardless of their dimensions regardless of their limitations regardless of their imperfections lord we embrace them we love them if they are part of the body they are the beloved lift your voice no longer will i resent any man of god no longer will i resent any church no longer will i resent any fellowship any gathering of believers my propositions against them may be legitimate but it still is not enough reason even if you are not part of them wish them well even if you are not part of that church wish them well even if you are not part of that prayer group wish them well even if you are not part of that christian organization wish them well you are not part of the mission agents wish them well talk well about them talk well about their leaders Hallelujah. Let me pray a prayer for you. From the depth of my heart, I want to pray for you. Listen, I have gotten more results in my life from loving the body than from praying. Believe me, I have gotten more results in my life just from loving the body than I have from my prayer life. There are things I have not prayed for. The love for the body brought it to me. 
there are dimensions that my love i love the body of christ there is no way i've not ministered and there is no way i will not minister there is no way i will see a man of god and have to turn and leave him and say oh you are from this no i have many friends today great people we don't believe many things we don't agree in many things yet it is still too small a reason you don't have to agree with people to love them you must agree to work together but you can disagree and still love them you believe in tongues i don't believe in tongues no problem you pray your tongues we can't work together but i can love you you believe in finances i don't believe in finance no problem i sit with my broke life after all lazarus and abraham they all went to heaven so you can sit the way you want and short change yourself you believe in finance you don't believe in prayer okay fine i i can but this hatred do you believe in finance no go do you believe in prayer i know do you believe in wearing trousers no go do you believe in tying your hair no go do you believe in praying shouting no don't do that don't do that don't ever be part of that nonsense you will think it's a good thing until you watch yourself destroy yourself are we together listen when you come to my house i have a modus operandi i have a system in my own house because it is my house but when i go to your house even if i see what is not permissible in my house in your house i must sustain a system of accommodation there is a way we do service here in koinonia you don't accept someone is under the anointing you don't see somebody just run and come and fall down here he may kneel down may lie down there but you don't find that there are churches you go to that during praise and worship the man of god is jumping another member outside will come and be jumping with the man of god and they are sweating don't just see that and say god forbid what is going on here be careful in the midst of the lampstand christ is still there are we together you don't come and then you see a woman just because she's not wearing earrings she's standing i see all these people we have moved past this level and you just say who is this woman humble yourself and sit down and say lord let this woman speak to me you don't come and just because you see a woman maybe not covering her hair or whatever preserve your perspective as revealed to you by god but you must give allowance for the diversity of the body there are things i believe it will never change no matter where i go to there are convictions are we together but i'm able to open up myself and when i go to certain regions i make sure that i go through the sacrifice of aligning to their understanding there are places i cannot fly a shirt like this to go and minister not because it is wrong the context of their understanding will not allow them to receive of the grace of god upon my life there are even some that i cannot even wear suit because once your suit is excessively clean and flashy that in itself may not even suggest that you are serious spiritually so i can decide to just wear something that is plain even traditionals i may not even wear something with many colors is the sacrifice so that there will be minimal distraction so they can receive it's called love for the body when you love the body there is no sacrifice that is too great if you are going to a church and they say to enter this church cover your head no i won't do this god no. carry your wrapper cover your head and enter and see jesus and let jesus minister to you and you go back when you do this you will see how your life will begin to grow because when the prophetess is coming and she's on trousers i don't say oh this is no what are you saying when the woman is coming and she doesn't have any earring when the man is coming and all of a sudden you see him looking poor and wretched you don't say all oh, this poor man what do you have to tell me when we do this then the lapses in our lives will be closed and we will see a new church that is rising complete perfected by the diversities of the body therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus the grace to receive the multifaceted dimensions of god released through the body i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you that the grace to be and remain unresentful towards the body unresentful towards any and every church receive that grace i cast away from your life the spirit of cynicism 
and criticism based on differences that you do not appreciate i command that spirit to live your life forever i plant in you the fortitude to accommodate dimensions that are inconveniencing to you in the name of jesus christ the grace to overlook the weaknesses and the limitations in the body so as to receive the grace upon her receive it in jesus name the grace to sacrifice your convenience so as to find a dimension of christ resident within certain inconveniencing spheres i release that grace upon you now in the name of jesus christ every dimension of god that should be working in your life and is deficient in the name of jesus christ i pray that by the mercy of god may he navigate that dimension back to your life in the name of jesus christ i pray for the spirit of humility that the pride that makes you see or think that any other person who is not you is not needed in your spiritual growth process i take away that pride forever in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you from tonight may you begin to execute an uncanny level of spiritual balance balance in the communication of the word of god balance in the dispensing of the anointing balance in your prosperity work balance in administration and excellence balance in character balance in wisdom and mental transformation balance in your passion for soul and souls and the evangelical dimension balance in the prophetic balance in your understanding of christ balance in your understanding of satan balance in your understanding of every dimension of your work with god i plant upon you an anointing for balance in the name of jesus christ Important. and number four Et quatrièmement, do not ignore any opportunity given to you to serve whether in the house of god or to represent his purposes beyond the church walls please rise upon your feet vous plaît, -vous. just two prayer points for this afternoon Deux sujets de prière cet après-midi. Prayer point number one. Premier sujet de prière. Lord, I desire to grow past this level. Seigneur, je désire grandir au-delà du niveau. I desire to grow and rise from being a babe, a child, into one who is strong and matured in the spirit. Are you praying? Lift your voice and pray. Je désire grandir de l'étape d'enfant à celui de quelqu'un qui est mature en esprit. Vas-y, élève la voix et prie. And for many of us who have been at the same level spiritually for a long time, God is calling on you. Et pour plus un calling on you. Calling on you. Calling on you. spirituel pendant longtemps, l'Éternel vous appelle. Allah baku shada brande kete bele kete parose. Shana bana kata paraso te brande kete bele kete ya. You are praying now. Nous sommes en train de prier. Prayer point number two, which Deuxième is the last. Sujet de prière et le dernier. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to pray. J'aimerais que tu pries. That the role I have to play. Le rôle que j'ai à jouer. In seeing that the revival, fire, and advancement happens in Cameroon, Lord, I obtain grace to play that role effectively. Pour que le feu du réveil se manifeste effectivement, Cameroun, Seigneur. Go ahead and pray. Je reçois cette grâce. Vas-y, prie. The role that I have to play Le rôle que je dois jouer, as far as fulfilling the prophetic word that is upon your land en ce qui la whether in ministry, in business, in politics que ce soit dans le ministère, les affaires, I obtain politique, grace Hallelujah Praise the Lord
Gloire à Dieu. Now let me salute you for your endurance and your patience. Maintenant je vous remercie pour votre endurance et votre you patience. See, sometimes in conferences like this, God stretches you for a reason. Parfois dans des conférences comme celle-ci, Dieu étend vos limites pour a, une raison. A moment of spiritual emphasis. Et c'est généralement un moment où l'emphase spirituelle est mise. I know that it's only a few hours and then the meeting in the night would start. Je sais que c'est dans quelques heures que le, le, le culte du soir va commencer. Some of you may not even go anywhere. Certains d'entre vous pourraient ne même pas rentrer chez But eux. Let me you. Mais je voudrais vous encourager. Stretching and staying with God does not kill you. Rester avec Dieu ne tue pas. If it's a sacrifice that is worth it for this conference, then do not see it as evil upon yourself. Si c'est un exercice qui est nécessaire pour cette conférence, alors tu ne vas pas considérer cela comme un mal qui te fait. I remember fait. standing, not sitting, standing in a Reinhard Bonke crusade for six hours. Je me rappelle être resté debout durant une croisade de Reinhard Bonke pendant six heures. Six because heures. I desired an encounter from my heart. Parce que je désirais avoir une rencontre pour mon cœur. But then, just to lend my voice with the instruction yesterday, by God's grace today, tonight will be a miracle service. Par la grâce de Dieu, ce soir, ce sera un culte de miracle. Hallelujah. And as, as allowed by your man of God, may I request everyone to come tonight with your prayer request. Et selon, si votre homme de Dieu we, le permet, je voudrais que chacun vienne ce soir. We may not be able to minister to everyone one by avec one. Son sujet de but there are businesses, there are churches. You can call your loved ones, whether they are in government, wherever, even if they are not able to make it, that they write something that they trust to see God do. And here at this Congress, here vous, at this conference. Et vous pouvez même appeler vos bien-aimés et leur demander d'écrire quelque chose qui voudrait voir Dieu faire. As a united faire. spiritual force over Cameroon. Et à cette conférence en, en tant que force unie sur le Cameroon, nous allons élever ces attentes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I like you to come. Many of you have seen this day in your dreams and visions. Et beaucoup d'entre vous ont vu ce rêve, ce jour dans leurs rêves et visions. I like you to come because there will be such an outpouring of the Spirit of God. Et je voudrais que vous veniez parce qu'il y aura un Déversement de l'Esprit de Dieu. Everyone you can find, everyone you know by the Spirit should be in this meeting. Probably a man of God, a businessman, a politician that you know the hand of God is upon him. Et toute personne qui, selon l'inspiration du Saint-Esprit, doit être dans cette, à cette réunion, like que ce soit un homme de Dieu, ou un politicien, ou un homme d'affaires. Invitez-les à payer le prix. As for now, présent. may the Lord bless you. Mais que vous may the Lord strengthen que you. Vous may these words be spirit and life within you. Que ces paroles soient esprit et and in the en name vous. of Jesus Christ, Au nom de Jésus Christ, may your profiting appear unto all. Et que ton béné, votre bénéfice soit visible à tous. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. Hallelujah. Is it alright if I request that we stand? Please. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus, name above every name, name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. to stand because we're about to pray and all of you who are following by way of television you are following uh, through the internet I want you to believe right now it says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come hallelujah now I just want you to stand in faith as I pray whilst you're standing I want you to agree and to begin to declare that in the name of Jesus these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever. Go ahead and begin to pray. Just whilst you are standing. I'm going to bow my knees and lay my hands upon this request. And you don't have to kneel with me. Let me bow my knees like Paul would do to pray. For the next one minute, I'd like you to agree. 
the God that has honored Equa Plateau Church for all these years is about to rise for you again. The name of Jesus the Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he says we were like them that dream I'm about to make some declarations over this and I just want you to believe the Bible says what things soever ye believe ye desire he says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it you can bring it please what things soever ye desire in the name of Jesus Christ the one who has honored Equa Plateau Church the one you serve and love and believe I decree and declare that everything written here that represents pain represents reproach represents any kind of discomfort I call upon my God right now in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your testimony now. Let it be turned to your testimony now. Everything that is demonic, that is the reason for this to be put here. I call upon my God, who is also your God. May he arise on your case. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you, standing upon the grace of our fathers, the eldership in this church, that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I know that it's not something strange. Please, if there's anyone under the anointing close to you, just help them. We're not so that we don't get distracted. In the name of Jesus, I am praying. There are people who have not been able to move forward. He said, Moses, tell the people that they go forward. It is God that moves people forward, but he puts that word in the lips of men. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare go forward I decree and declare make progress with your life hallelujah I'm praying for you now but the Lord is putting in my spirit I'm seeing the number six and there are six people here there's been all kinds of oppression over your family I'm praying right now Please, I want you to help them. I just saw fire. The Lord is bringing deliverance. I command every demon, every principality. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit behind the problems of people in this church, every spirit behind the pain and the stagnation of God's people, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, be free now. For the Bible says, he that the Son sets free is free indeed. I declare your liberty now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every orchestration of darkness, every legal claim that Satan is making over your life, the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. I stand upon the faith of our fathers and I decree and declare be delivered now activities of witchcraft 
and culture by the power that raised Christ from the dead be set free now let me pray for your spiritual life everything that has brought your spiritual life down you were not like this before now your fire has gone down now your word study life has gone down may fresh fire come upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me the Bible says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren the mother called him Jabez because she bore him in sorrow and he got to a point where he said oh that thou wouldest bless me I'm praying for someone here that in the name of Jesus that name Ichabod that name Jabez that means the departure of the glory we change it right now over your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I was contemplating whether I should share this vision or not because I didn't want to create any problem but while I sat down there before I came up I looked and I saw it was like a dark a dark blanket just over this building and the Lord said to lift it that there is something that has pressed this I don't know what it is I'm just coming here but I stand in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that everything that has tied down this church by the power that raised Christ from the dead lift up your heads oh ye gates lift up your heads oh ye gates over Equa Plateau Church lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted up everlasting doors in the name of Jesus hallelujah the plague of sudden death in this church in the name of Jesus it comes to an end now hallelujah hear me anybody who says let us see what you will become indeed they will see God lift you indeed they will see God honor you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for every home here everything that represents shame and reproach it looks like you are serving God and people are saying where is the evidence may God use your results to answer them in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please hear me there is something in the Bible called the book of remembrance I am a product of the sacrifice of this church do you know there was a time where Mordecai saved the king and he was not rewarded the Bible says that night could not the king sleep may tonight be that night he said bring me the Chronicles and he said who has rewarded this man many of you have raised others like me but nobody has come back to reward you may my God who is a covenant keeping God begin to visit you begin to visit you begin to visit you Sunday school teachers may my God visit you different departments elders who have labored in this church may this be the season where my God will visit you hallelujah for the families that are here I want to prophesy Psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth that the generation of the upright shall be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever I decree and declare no family here will be an instrument of shame and mockery in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for the youth in this church let there be an emergence of young men on fire responsible young men and women dedicated young men and women 
this church will never lack hands to hold up the banner of the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me anybody that walks into this church assigned by Satan to bring down the work we build a spiritual fortification and we decree and declare Equa Plateau Church you will not die Equa Plateau Church you will not fall Equa Plateau Church you will not fail it is from glory to glory to glory to glory finally I decree and declare the spirit of unity like never before the spirit of love hear me please this night is a night that all grievances all issues if there be any no matter how age long when God the Bible says you cannot put an old wine a new wine in an old wine skin for many of you here maybe grievances with parents grievances with elders listen let me tell you this when God is doing a new thing you must be like Joseph let go he said this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind I press I press I press that every EPC member who is seen will be known by their love genuine love for Jesus and genuine love one for another I decree and declare may the spirit of love rest upon everyone in the name of Jesus Christ and that next year by this time you will be a thousand times greater may men and women of influence rise from this church influence even in government influence in business influence in media in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father I want to thank every one of you sincerely our elders my wonderful parents my dad and mom is here can you please help me bless God for them hallelujah praise the name of the Lord and the entire committee that made it possible for me to come it is an honor I do not take this for granted thank you for giving me the opportunity to bring Jesus I'm truly honored may the Lord bless you let it be for us all from glory to glory I forgot I said I was going to pray for the sick would you spare me a minute for that please if you are trusting God for healing just lay your hands on your chest we'll just do this in one minute I believe in the healing power of Jesus I am a product of this healing ministry I can see online prayer requests someone is saying healing for my dad from prostate cancer deliverance for my brother from every bad vice Jesus Christ still heals it is true that he does hallelujah let me just pray that prayer in one minute because there are people here who the doctors are doing their best and we pray that God will empower them to continue but there are many infirmities whose origin is from the spirit whether it is high blood pressure whether it is cancer diabetes bone conditions eye conditions the Bible says he healed them all therefore in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living I bring life and healing to your body life and healing to your body be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus I declare that that pain leaves right now in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you you may need to go and see a doctor even after this conference and you will find out that things have changed I decree and declare it is so for you according to the word of the Lord in Jesus name thank you so very much and may the Lord bless you Equa Plateau Church the influence of a wicked demonic spirit let's submit our prayer request and then we'll do the impartation we've taken time Please begin to pray in the spirit right where you are and submit your prayer request to the person at the left or the right aisle seated to you. Any one of them, preferably maybe the left. Please submit your prayer request while you pray.
all the overflows those outside those across please make sure you attend to those who are around second equa make sure that they are given an opportunity to submit their request submit your request while you pray the bible says to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you. Oh Lord, will you put my life in order for you, for you? I wanna know you, Lord. I want to know your ways Oh Lord Set my heart on fire for you For you Oh Lord Set my life in honor for you I want to know you, Lord. I want to know your ways. Just one prayer request. Father, I am available to be used mightily by you. I pray that you will use me like never before. Open your mouth and pray. Whether in ministry, whether as a lecturer, whether as a student, whether as a husband, a wife, a father, a son, a daughter, a career person, a professional, open your mouth and pray. I am available. I am available. I am available in the name of Jesus. I am available by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am available. As you raise mighty men and women, as you anoint men for this end time kingdom assignments, I am available. Find a vessel in me in the name of Jesus Christ. Now pray and declare, I obtain grace to be prayerful. I obtain grace to be systemic even in my prayer. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. Are you praying? I obtain grace by the power of the Holy Ghost to listen to scripture, to listen to teachings. I obtain grace to speak the word, faith declarations that speak and program possibilities over my life. Declare the power of the Holy Ghost upon my life. The power of the Holy Ghost upon my ministry the power of the holy ghost upon my family the power of the holy ghost upon my body the power of the holy ghost upon my children is someone praying the power of the holy ghost upon my academics the power of the holy ghost upon my career in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it is not by power not by might it is by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah so this is how it works when the power of the holy spirit comes upon you the bible says christ is revealed as the wisdom of god and it is revealed is revealed as the power of god when the anointing comes upon you it can translate to wisdom guiding you to know what to do and it can translate to the force that corrects every anomaly in your life hallelujah our time is gone we're going to spend just about maybe five minutes max ten 
by the grace of God I like you when you're ready with the request please bring them and then I will speak over your life I promised yesterday that I was going to pray for the sick we may not have time to take testimonies unfortunately because of our time but I will speak over your life then I'll pray over the request we'll do the final impartation and then we're done but hear me ladies and gentlemen if there is anything about this life that you are seeing I'm a product of God's grace but it is also because I place value on the power of God the ministry of strategic prayer being built by the word and then embracing the engracing the ever increasing empowerment of the spirit because you see yesterday's excellence will be tomorrow's mediocrity just because you received fire yesterday does not mean it will suffice for the rest of your life some of you you are here you came for this meeting yesterday and today weary dried up in your spirit but the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful ground vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest there is no limit to what the holy spirit is able to do i see several of you just standing across as far as you can get wherever you are i want you to release your faith as i pray you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul truly you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit you to stretch your hands towards this request as we pray this is the most accurate representation of the needs of everyone Jesus said it is the sick that need the doctor some of these needs here represented are life-threatening issues some of these issues represented here are issues of shame and embarrassment I like you to declare these that I see these Egyptians I see them no more forever. I'm going to bow my knees to pray. You don't kneel, you just pray. Just for two minutes to lay my hands upon them. Everybody, whether you are outside, you are following from across the globe, stretch your hands and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit and decree and declare. unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of Jesus I bow my knees in partnership with all the graces here represented and we declare under this corporate anointing that every request that has been placed before the Lord here let it become your testimonies now shout a louder amen let it become your testimonies now 
in the name of Jesus every life-threatening situation here I decree and declare you become a testimony now every spirit that is back of the tragedies here represented by the blood of the eternal covenant we curse you and we declare a release for God's people and finally in the name of Jesus prophetically I stand upon this request every challenge that has risen above you we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ now very quickly everywhere inside or outside I want you to place your hand if you came here sick or you brought someone sick lay your hands we're out of time but I have to do this lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and you can stand in for someone it doesn't have to be for yourself there's someone that comes to mind you can stand in to receive from them for them the centurion stood for his son Jario stood for his daughter I sent my word and it healed your disease I am the Lord your place your hand there I want to pray for you he gave us the power and the authority to declare upon the sick and that they be healed now in the name of Jesus every spirit and every devil of infirmity that has plagued families plagued destinies in the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant I command that that spirit leaves your body now I command that that spirit leaves your body now now I declare to you in the name of Jesus be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now my god there's such a strong healing anointing be healed now i condition be healed now ear conditions be open now bone conditions in the name of jesus be corrected now blood conditions genotype issues all kinds of blood conditions be healed now be healed now fibroids and all kinds of malignant growths in the name of Jesus be healed now we command that those growths die and dissolve from your bodies in the name of Jesus Christ cancer and any cancer related case we command that cancer cell to die now every genotype you desire change I declare that it changes supernaturally now back pain severe back pain let it be healed right now the someone you have very severe pain one of your molars in fact it's, it's almost like you have it's a cavity problem but it's it's an advanced state there's severe pain you can literally chuck something in there in the name of Jesus let that teeth be supernaturally filled now there is there is a man here your situation this is something that that relates to men and this thing has affected you and affected your marriage I declare in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural restoration for you now supernatural restoration now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone who is suffering from pile pile very painful
painful pile sometimes you are not able to go to the toilet in the name of Jesus be healed right now and anyone here appointed unto death we declare and declare that your life is lengthened by the Spirit of God every ailment whether every ailment whether I mentioned it or not be healed from it now be healed from it in the name of Jesus and for all those you are standing in for I declare that the power of God touches them right where they are in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus every door that has been closed over you I command that door to be opened now God has declared unto us that this is our year of open doors I declare doors be opened now in the name of Jesus for those who are students I prophesy upon you extraordinary intelligence by the Spirit extraordinary intelligence by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and for anyone here who has been going through patterns and circles of demonic activities witchcraft and all kinds of satanic manipulations you are hereby delivered forever you are hereby delivered forever you are hereby delivered forever in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over Zaria the reign of wickedness witchcraft the activities of evil people let it come to an end right now we make decrees this is by the decree of the watchers by the power of the Holy Ghost this environment becomes unconducive for any satanic activity in the name of Jesus we pray for all the churches that are represented here in Zaria every church represented let there be fresh fire upon the altars in the name of Jesus Christ Zaria remains a place of salvation remains a place of training remains a place of revival in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your finances by the power of the Holy Spirit let the grace called favor rest upon you 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 in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. now the final impartation I want to pray for you you don't have to bring anyone out if anyone is under the anointing just guide them we don't have that time now but I want to pray there will always be people who are called to take there are many empty positions in the spirit in Zaria because many people have moved and some of those positions are crying for men and women who will stand and continue what is being done you see the days of superstar Christianity of one person trying to is over the Lord is raising as many not just one person you know and all of that because if only a few people are there they stand the risk of suffering pride and temptation and once they fall out of the way that's the end of it when God raises many people it is beneficial even for those who are there because it takes away the tendency to be tempted with pride and to believe I am the only one hallelujah there are many people who are rising from the campuses to the various churches I just want to release this grace upon you and it will rest upon you because for some of you this grace will quicken you into a place of retreat for some of you this grace will quicken you to a place of prayer some of you this grace will come to activate many possibilities right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Spirit inside all the overflows overflow three two one the extension at the count of three I decree and declare the grace and the mantle that is required for this season in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I 
I activate that grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication, receive it right now. Receive it right now. The mantle of a prayer warrior, the grace to pray and pray down revival. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of revelation, access to light from scripture. I release that anointing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stir up the prophetic and the apostolic every dormant grace the eyes that see and the ears that hear may that grace be quickened from within you now I decree and declare kingdom financiers rising with the dignity of kingdom integrity received a bakatoshkata embrekatoshkotepata I release that grace Zaria you shall not lack May God raise men with the dignity of kingdom integrity that will supply resources for kingdom advance in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray concerning the worshippers, those called into the ministry of psalmistry, prophetic psalmistry, whether you are inside or outside, I stir up that grace after the order of David receive that mantle now receive that apakatoshketa breke parakoshkea manta breke tasyata songs of the spirit songs of the spirit receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for all those who are being raised by God to be the next lecturers the next career people in the name of Jesus let the spirit of excellence rest upon you let the spirit of excellence rest upon you let the spirit of excellence rest upon you in the name of Jesus let the spirit of excellence rest upon you there are some of you here by age 30 you are already professors in the name of Jesus such a display of unusual excellence a level of mental acumen as has never been seen I pray for every family here represented let no family in Zaria let no family here represented lack a priest that can rise in that family in the name of Jesus Christ and hear me if there is any of your loved one who is not saved whether your brother whether your sister whether your spouse whether your child whether your parents we agree right now as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ beginning from tonight may the Spirit of God begin to convict them even unto salvation convict them even unto righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ finally the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of untimely death over and around this region Parakatos Katibalata in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that that reproach is rolled over Zaria rolled over the body of Christ for in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah now listen very carefully there are thousands of people scattered across this place and thousands others falling online I want you to lend me your attention this is my last night with you for now and I want to make an altar call you know what an altar call is an altar call is a moment of genuine surrender and reception of the life of Jesus please no movement minimize movement inside and all the overflows you've been here and whilst you heard me speak the Holy Ghost began to convict you that you are that champion that God is raising that you are that person that God wants to greatly use but you see everything in this kingdom starts with God Jesus is the way I told you earlier on there are some of you who have never truly surrendered your heart in truth you have not made that determined decision to begin a walk with God or there are those who for whatever reason your life has gone haywire and you want to rededicate your life in this auditorium 
and all the overflows listen to me the bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart jesus christ is giving you an opportunity to make it right i'm going to count one to five like i did yesterday all those who are within this auditorium who are saying apostle i want to make it right with jesus and in truth i'm going to be inviting you to come and stand here and then if the space is still available maybe a few more from outside who are coming can stand once this space is filled up you may move to your led your various led screens now for those who are scattered down to second equa you may want to take advantage of overflow two or overflow three or overflow four you can use any one of them but i'm going to count one to five leave your seat wherever you are and come and stand to make it right with jesus i begin my counting now one celebrate them as they come make sure you don't sit back when the holy ghost is speaking to you come he's able to give you a new life hallelujah let's celebrate them they are coming from everywhere outside inside Nina Bazankoma Bazankoma Baya Nina Yes Bazankoma Bazankoma Baya Nasa Hanuna Akanke Kenoma Bazankoma I belong to Jesus, never going back, never going back, some, some. Nina, yes, ne bazankoma, bazankoma, baya. Thank you so much for making this noble decision. It's the wisest decision any man can make under the sun. Hallelujah please ushers help those who are outside to move right to the led screens and let your attention be on the screens as i lead you to pray it is a marvelous thing to see souls come to jesus nothing compares to it no kind of miracle compares to the miracle of a saved life by the power of the holy spirit the bible declares that there is no other name under heaven given unto man by which we must be saved that whosoever calls upon the name of the lord that person shall be saved thank you very much for making this noble decision ladies and gentlemen the bible says whoever will come to jesus young old rich poor that he will in no wise cast away the front is filled up please the remaining people can now join those in front if he's filled up they can take advantage of any of the overflows praise the name of the lord thank you very much may i request all who have come out indicating the desire for salvation please lift your right hand high above your head your right hand everywhere and for those who are following whether you are following from the us from europe from africa some state in nigeria in the silence of your room your living room probably you are watching by way of rebroadcast this is an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life as i lead them to pray I want you to repeat that prayer not just as a poem or a chant but a declaration of faith and the bible declares that salvation will be administered to you say this after me say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God. I walk in the newness of life. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these ones. By the authority of scripture, I declare their sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, the life of God is ministered to you right now. 
the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life i commend you to the word of god and even to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness you go forward ever and backward never satan has no hold over your life for in the mighty name of jesus we pray and the church say loud amen for you to start pointing your hands no no that's not how the spirit of the it's not a tell them teaching tonight's teaching is a, a call to come out of her a call to see the excellency of the prosperity of your soul listen i can know who prospered you by checking the health of your soul when i find out that the higher you rise, the more your knee touches the ground. I know you have met his majesty. When I see that the more an appointment comes, the more your hunger, the more your desperation. Madam, I don't know who this woman is. We're not praying tonight. But in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing oil being poured on your head. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's shifting you to a new level in the spirit. I release that grace upon you. Step into a new level now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. Please let me announce to you. Not everyone has bowed to bear. There are people who their hunger and their passion has driven them to realms of power. Realms of grace. Authentic dimensions of power. I'm desperate for you. Hallelujah. I'm lost without you. That's the anthem of a generation. Listen. South Africa, house of treasures. Your pastor discerning by the spirit put forth this meeting as a clarion call to wake the army of the Lord Jesus to let them know that there is a fraternity that is going on in the earth Babylon please take it hard for me and let him my dear friend from US somewhere in this meeting you are going to blow this shofar for us it's going to come by the spirit we will shake this building as a sound that we are sending to South Africa that there is a rising of the new there is a rising of men mighty and strong in the spirit Another kind of man. Listen. I vowed and I told the Lord, even before he began to lift me, Lord, whatever will take my attention from you, I don't care what it is, let it go fast. 
and as I'm standing here God sees my heart that I'm telling him what is fame listen we have to be very careful some of these mundane things can distract us to a point where we will lose authentic power the grace over territories not just churches not just cities well done thou good and faithful servant you become a ruler over territories an anointing is coming on you this dear lady in the name of Jesus the Lord is shifting you I don't know who you are but you are stepping into a new dimension in the realm of the spirit listen your life will never believe me when I tell you you will encounter a grace that will so shift you to dimensions in the spirit listen my message tonight is very simple we are going to discuss other aspects of the kingdom this is not all but tonight in addition to the graces and the teachings it is a call to return it is a call leave the issue of business now leave the issue of I want speed it will come tonight is you you are the commodity yourself man of God forget about ministry and focus on his presence that's the key to growth the key to running is staying Apostle, I want power. I want growth. I want to prophesy. I know you are sincere, but that drive will only lead you to perdition. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, God. In the beginning of your business, God. Not money. In the beginning of ministry, God. In the beginning of marriage, God. He is called Alpha Omega. Listen, that any relationship in my life that is strangling the health of my soul is too expensive. It's not worth it. There's no such thing as we were born together. No, sir. You don't have to condemn people and insult people and cause trouble. But it's time. It says when Elijah called all of them, he called the prophets of Baal. He says, if God be God, let him be God. If Baal be God, let him be God. And then he says, choose you this day somewhere in scripture whom you will serve. Man of God, choose you this day. Businessman, choose you this day. My dear precious sister, my dear precious brother, choose you this day. As for me, I've made my choice that we live for His Majesty. I love Him more than preaching. Believe me when I tell you, I love Him more than anointing, more than power. I will throw this ministry a thousand times to honor His presence. If He tells me this is my last sermon as a preacher, I stand before the God of heaven as I close this Bible. I will never open it to preach again. That's how much I love him. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than this? We're about to cry in this place. Listen. Tonight is not a night of I am an apostle. I am a prophet. Tonight is a night where we will come and say, Lord, I'm tired of lying. Search my heart. It's not a call to condemnation. It's a call to intentional reflection. For if it is, listen, the glory of God comes to confirm that his patterns have been followed. When his patterns are violated like Cain, the sacrifice. So we're going to pray. I may not have the time. My friend, lift your hands. Step into a new level in the spirit. A grace is coming upon you. You're a young man, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord will use you mightily, even in this nation.
is calling us deeper, 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 deeper. He's calling us deeper, deeper. Salabaranda salatia sabas. Listen, in the next five minutes, Please forget about who is sitting by your left and right. You are going to cry before his majesty and say, Lord, search my heart. I'm not here to lie. I'm not here to pretend. In all sincerity, I come before you. The God of my salvation. I come with my and contrite that if there be any way and any pattern that negates your workings in my life, I come before you and I ask for a purging and a cleansing that brings power. South Africa, lift your voice and let's cry to the heavens. Selada sabanda prakato saladia Engreteko sadabarakoto siata simahasia This is the library. In the name Grace. Who is that? Grace. Grace. You're wearing like a green head tie, something green. You didn't tie your head completely. Who is that? Is there someone like that? What's your name, my dear? Grace, where are you coming from? You are from? Please give her the mic. What, what do you have to do with um, Congo DRC? Where are you from? Congo. Congo. I want to pray for you because you are stepping into a new anointing. I stretch my hands. I bring you a grace that shifts you to a new level. May your life never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. You can know that you met him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now please hear me. I know that we don't have all the time tonight. But listen. Tomorrow and Friday. I want you to come with all your families. Even if it's for you to sit on the roof. Please find a way. I may not have the time tonight. To minister to the sick and all of that but the Lord sent me here to come and join hands with the mighty men and women of God in this city and this nation to lift up the banner of the name and the grace of the Christ to see to it that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ hallelujah Is there a place called, is it Pumalanga? Something like that. Is, is that a name? I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly. Pumalanga. What's that? A nation, a state? Who is from there? Hold on, please. That person, there are two of them. The power of God will come on them now. Bring them from that region. That region. Bring them. Alis Kalu Salam Brady Salukata Air Broken Susi Sazia Tabaria We're rounding up Please bring them we're rounding up from the east listen this is a ministry of signs and wonders god it, it is not i'm a man look at me please look at me i am a man we are only men who have been helped by god and the lord uses us like this 
not to show that we are superhuman in ourselves our divinity and the extraordinary manifestation is a testament of the ministry of the Holy Spirit it should cause men to see him more than seeing us this is how it works and I the Bible says if I be lifted from the earth I will draw all men to myself I will draw all men to myself I will draw all men to myself hallelujah one of these ladies wearing hats in front the power of God is coming on one of them please let me have these ladies in front I just saw wind listen if you are a pastor here believe me you are going to contact a grace in this conference that will so shift your ministry to a dimension of grace and power it is by the Spirit of God listen listen please look at me my teaching tonight may be a bit hard but this is the chastening of the Spirit it prunes us to bring us to a place of order the apostolic see the apostolic anointing is not even a preaching anointing is a governmental grace it governs the coordinates of the truths of scripture it ensures that a territory and a generation works within the jurisdiction of balance the assignment of the apostolic and the prophetic is that through the sacrifice of alignment we access the speakings of God as a portion for a generation and ensure that its dispensing is done with accuracy and as intended by the father Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please hear me. That when you go back home tonight, let it be a cry in your heart. And say, Lord, I joined the midwives that will birth the new in South Africa. But hear me. South Africa, I bring you a prophetic word. Before you believe a man, find out about him. Don't just believe carelessly. Listen. I was sleeping after we were done having breakfast and I saw a vision. I saw a vision of a woman about to give birth and that woman is South Africa. Hear me. There is, and this will start from the month of August this year, there is a strange shift that is coming to the body of Christ within this territory. Please hear what I am telling you. It's a double-edged sword. It will come both to lift and it may come to bring down. It is not the desire of God that anything goes wrong. Listen, don't celebrate when things go wrong with the body of Christ. The goal is not to show who is right or wrong. The goal is to see Christ lifted. So you must understand what I'm teaching you. Are we together now? It is true that we are at different levels. It is true that our levels of sacrifices and alignment is true that here and there flesh may be prevalent in people but hear me Christ is still in the midst of South Africa and let me speak to you more than pointing fingers we must now begin to point our attention to his majesty because as we behold him that's where we are changed hallelujah can we pray two prayer points and we're done for tonight prayer point number one Lord find a vessel in me a vessel it's true that God is prospering us but tonight's teaching is even as your soul prospers father I repentance is not a language for sinners listen the word repent is not necessarily a sinner's language repent means realign to pattern it is the system by which we become more like Christ Paul prayed and said, my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed. The formation of the Christ happens by a mystery called repentance. So you are going to lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, search my heart and help me. I desire to walk genuinely with you in truth. Lift your voice and pray. Genuinely. Genuinely. Yes, sir. Now, Please just let me five minutes and we're done. 
my dear friend from the US is just going to play something just play this song and as he's playing I'd like you to pray and while we pray I'm just going to speak over your life and we're done for tonight yes sir lift your voice and make sure you pray Lord in this move of your spirit that is coming to South Africa this financial renaissance this apostolic and prophetic move of the spirit I open up my heart and I declare that I am available and I am usable let there be a restoration of the prayer fire upon our altars let there be a restoration of hunger and passion for God upon our altars let there be a restoration of a determination to live for him a determination to be reflectors of his glory and power and grace We will not bow. Here comes the generation that will not bow to Baal. Here comes the generation that is uncompromising. Here comes the generation that will stay to the end. Here comes the generation that will last to the end. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. I know that our time is gone, but I must pray one prayer. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing several chains several chains on people this is what I see just one prayer I want to pray because it will be unfair for you to return back with that chain no what then is the excellency of his presence now the Lord is that spirit the Bible says you are about to taste and see that the Lord is good not only to believe I want to pray a prayer for you now listen please as I pray this prayer the power of the Holy Ghost please help that lady the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon some of you and it is to break chains this is not impartation this is to break chains so that you are free hallelujah help them please I want to pray listen you will never be the same never at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name, many of you age-long captivity that has, see, every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. Please listen to me. Right now in the name of Jesus, I come to you South Africa by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I stand in the name of Jesus in partnership with all the graces in this place. I declare at the count of three that every force that is not of the Christ and every manipulation of darkness tying down the destinies of men it's time that you go now at the count of three you shout Jesus one, two, three be free now be free now please help them help them please I command chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken Chains. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. South Africa be released by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Be free in the name of Jesus. Father, let close doors tonight. I speak to doors that have been closed. On account of your determination to, re to remain for Christ. I speak to those doors. Hear me. A father, be open. Be open. Listen. Many of you will return tomorrow morning or evening with shock and wonder hallelujah
praise the name of the Lord. Now please listen to me. Tomorrow, a pastor, if you're, you're the shepherd, the angel over this house, if you will allow, I trust that tonight, tomorrow night will be a miracle service. And pastor, um, um, apostle Felix, please, if you will allow me, I want to plead with you at the permission of your dear man of God. I'd like you to write the list of things that must live your life forever. Please hear me. And if, if he comes and altar call, just two prayer points. You don't have to come out. This prayer point is for those who know that they have the hand of God upon their lives. Those who know that they have been called to live a life of grace and dignity, a life of grace and glory. My time is up, but in the next two minutes, I want to leave you and your God. I don't know what position you will take, but I want you to cry to the God of heaven. You don't have to come out. Everybody should be part of this call. Cry to the God of heaven. Lord, grant me grace. My life must count. Grant me grace. I am ready to shine forth even to my world. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. I declare that I obtain grace to shine forth. Grace to shine forth. Grace to shine forth. Grace to shine forth. No power will stop me. I arise and I shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please listen. The last prayer is for someone here who has been discouraged I know that we live in a time where many many people are discouraged financially discouraged some of you have lost loved ones or some of you sadly were with loved ones that were not responsible enough I want to give you a word of hope right now before we're done listen to me you may not have the kind of leverage you need but I want you to know that you can still make it. I will hold on through the storm. I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men, the lifter of men. Will you hold on through the storm? Will you hold on to His Word? Your life will soon reveal He's a lifter of men, lifter of men. Listen, I will hold on through the storm, no matter what it is. I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal that You're the lifter of men Lifter of men Please hold on through the storm You may cry but continue Hold on to his word your life will soon reveal He's a lifter of men The lifter of men Father, I may not have a mother I am the one sponsoring myself Can I still make a life of glory and grace? I am the only one who has risen in my family I sing this to you as a final song of comfort there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short in the name of Jesus Christ will you hold on through the storm 
will you hold on to his word your life will soon reveal he's the lifter of men the lifter of men he's the lifter of men the lifter of men in the name of Jesus I stand upon the grace that is on our father and our mother and I speak to someone's life in the mighty name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare over your destiny arise and shine 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 RCCG youths arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over you no weapon fashion against your destiny will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you let it fall in judgment in the name of Jesus go ahead and pray someone is praying cry to the God of heaven Lord grant me grace my life must count Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.